I don't know. I don't know. I feel him in me. I feel him in me. I feel him in me. Keenan Forbes, 2000. The first guy I ever met was him at St. John's. He came from Cape Town, and here I was coming from <laughs> Nell Sprague. And uh, it was so surreal this week. And uh, we're at assembly, and Forbes, Kumete. And I'm like, who do Forbes, dude? And obviously, I'm looking for some white rich guy. <laughs> and here comes this tall colored guy. Okay. So I'm sitting, we're standing in the queue next to each other. They assign us to classes. And uh, we, 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 you know, we're all sussing out the situation. You know, first time in private school. So it's heavy. And uh, okay, we, our first class was Afrikaans. Okay. We get into the class. The teachers walk us in and they say, uh, everybody's gonna greet each other in Afrikaans first day, greet each other, greet each other. But Kenyan doesn't know Afrikaans well. <laughs> I definitely don't know Afrikaans. <laughs> so everyone starts the conversation. Oh, hundred, what, 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 what. <laughs> then it's me and his turn. <laughs> so I'm standing there and I say to him, what up? <laughs> <laughs> And all the class break out laughing because it's a direct translation for what's up. <laughs> so I'm there, what up? <laughs> and he just started laughing. And we failed, obviously. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm not from the industry and music and I'm just his friend. Since we were 11 years old, I've been... We used to walk to the Forbes' house every day to eat. And uh, Uncle Tony used to play soccer with us and cricket. Steph, we used to call him Wayne Head. And uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you, but I can only tell you about Keenan, the person. He made it so cool just to be me. He made it so cool just to be me. A lot of times people don't know that it's hard to carry things when you don't know. You know, um, I remember, in fact, let me tell you how this Sim Dope name came. So we get to grade 10 and uh, I make the first team, the first rugby team. Then now it's like a big thing for everyone and but for me and him, it's just, ah, boy, no more picking up the dirt after the game. So we're sitting there, and he says to me, Sim, I mean, now you're a bot, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, you're a bot at school. So we laugh. And he says, but you can't go, I mean, on Saturday and just be Sim I mean, that's not dangerous. <laughs> that's not dangerous. So I'm there, I'm saying to him, ah, you're the lover boy who writes love letters and, you know. So he says, no, you're some dope 11 now. I say, I mean, what are we going to do? He says, go to Facebook and write some dope 11. <laughs> so we start on this journey of some dope 11. And uh, I remember bumping into him and on Lynn and Rosebank just when Levels was about to drop and we were standing outside the Shesha shop and he's now telling me, yo, yo I just immortalized you, Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang, Sub-Zero. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this guy, what's going on? He says, boy, your life is about to change, eh? <laughs> so I say, okay, tell me. He says, no, I wrote a song, dog. About what? He says, about you and me, life and everything. So I said, no, you can't write a song, my brother. Are you crazy? I mean, who am I? And he says, uh, 
boy, you, you, you meant so much to me and our journey. Then he tell, reminds me to say, remember we went on a school tour to Australia in grade six, I think. And uh, so you were sitting next to me on the flight and it's maybe like a 16 hour flight. We stayed awake the entire flight waiting to see Australia. And our first thing, you know, we get there and we're the kangaroos, yeah. I mean, crikey, you know, we're in that discussion. And he says to me, you know, Sim, uh, you remember in grade 10, they weren't going to let you write, they weren't going to let you play the rugby match if you didn't pass the math test on the Wednesday, I think it was. So I said to him, Yo, don't talk about it. But I played that game because, you know, in the song, it talks about crib notes and all of that. <laughs> in the test, <laughs> in the test, in the test, so it was obviously Forbes, Gumete in the class spectrum. And uh, he swapped our test tape papers. <laughs> and he took, he took the D and I took the B. <laughs> you know, and uh, he means so much to me because he made it so cool just to be okay. And uh, I want to thank his parents for always welcoming us in their home. Even this week, watching the people walk freely around, it was just like in Houghton. It was just like that. And uh, seeing Steph, bro, you're so strong. You're so, you're so firm. I know you're going to be okay. I know you're going to be okay. Zidle, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words for what you've done for Cairo and so much. Thank you. Aunt Lynn, you are probably the best granny on the planet. <laughs> on the planet. Uncle Tony, thanks for being our dad and uh, fighting for us from 11 till now. Really, it meant a lot. I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming here and loving this boy. <laughs> he meant, meant so much to me that a funny thing I noticed about most of you actually that would have made Forbes crazy here. Uh, a lot of you are wearing black sneakers, eh? Forbes hated black shoes. <laughs> Every sneaker had to be white, <laughs> fresh, pure. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Long live, mega long live.